them. Deputy Speaker, thank you for this opportunity. And I rise today to speak on behalf of the many travel agency operators and their employees and their families who live in my electorate of Hotham. I was lucky a few weeks ago that a group of people who work in this critical industry made the time to sit down with me over Zoom, of course, as we're in Victoria, and had a really good conversation about what's happening to them and their businesses. Deputy Speaker, I think we're hearing a lot of rhetoric in the parliament at the moment coming from the government about how great things are looking and how Australia is staging an economic comeback. I just really want to remind the House that um, for tourism operators and for people whose business is fundamentally about international travel, absolutely nothing has changed for them. Their business basically got shut down overnight months and months ago, and they're still exactly where they were back then. Um, I have to tell you, Deputy Speaker, that the, um, the amazing people who I talk to, they are absolutely distraught. And the word that kept coming up in the phone conversation, in the um, Zoom conversation I had with them, was soul destroying. That's the experience that they have every day when they go to work. And it's not just um, the operators, of course, in my electorate deputy speaker. Just in the month of August alone, Australia's tourism industry lost $3.3 billion in a month, deputy speaker. And Tourism Research Australia has revealed that since the start of the year, $31.2 billion in domestic tourism has evaporated and $45.4 billion in international tourism has evaporated. Now, Deputy Speaker, faced as we are with this unprecedented set of circumstances, um, what Labor has been calling for for a long time is a set of specific industry supports for this industry. What they face is genuinely so unique. And Deputy Speaker, we had a, an announcement from the government yesterday on this. I just could not believe it when I read what's being offered to them, it is woefully inadequate. It's, it's embarrassing. I feel embarrassed to write to the people in my community who have spent their lives building businesses to the minimum amount available under this scheme is $1,500 an operator, Deputy Speaker. $1,500 an operator. That's not even half a family holiday. And Deputy Speaker, I'm really distressed about this because this is something that Labor's been calling for for a long time, um, and it's just simply not adequate. Now, Deputy Speaker, I think something that we should probably agree across the chamber here is that we actually want to finish the COVID crisis with a tourism industry of some description that we can rebuild on. And that's really the point of having a specific and actually comprehensive and workable package. And that's unfortunately just not what we saw. So I want my operators to know how hard I'll be fighting for them and continue to fight for them on this really critical issue. We need better and more professional action from the government. Thank you. I thank the